Hey everyone, welcome back again. So today uh, we are going to continue from where we left in our last session where uh, we were talking about how we can execute or steer our Tosca commander using uh, the command line tool which is known as the TC shell. We have also seen how we can um, even execute a particular execution list right from the command prompt using this TC shell, right? Without opening the Tosca commander. Now we are going uh, one step uh, further so here we still have a manual process like we are opening command prompt and we are entering some commands here uh, to do some execution but what if we want to automate this whole process we don't want to open command prompt or don't want to enter any commands uh, we just want to click um, on a particular link or button and uh, it should just execute right or even schedule um, our runs uh, at a certain time at a certain day or uh, depending on some other conditions, right? So all of this is possible, uh, obviously, with a continuous integration tool like Jenkins. So today we are going to see how you can perform all of these tasks in Jenkins, right? Before I jump uh, into Jenkins, uh, we will need a batch file, Windows batch file, in order to execute our a script .tcs. Right, so the script.tcs contains uh, the commands which we want to execute. But uh, to execute this particular script, uh, we would require a batch file which can call this particular script, right? Because we cannot execute this script file directly in uh, Jenkins. So I have created a execute.bat file. And uh, if I edit this particular file, you will see that uh, it contains the same commands which we have seen earlier. Okay, so the first command will open the commander home folder and then the TC shell command, which will basically call the .tcs file, right? So those are the two commands which are present in this batch file. Uh, you can always create a batch file using a notepad, just type the commands and then dot, uh, then just save it as a dot .bat file, okay? So, Let's go into our Jenkins now. I have already logged it into my Jenkins local instance, right? Uh, if you are using a server instance, the steps uh, will still remain same. There might be some minor changes or you have to maybe configure a little bit more, but still you can follow the same process, okay? So for this, uh, I will create a new project here. I will choose freestyle project. I can uh, also choose a pipeline right so let's give it a proper name here i will say tosca execute underscore ci okay and click on okay now there are a lot of configuration which is present in jenkins which you can do, uh, configure for your project right uh, you can give it a description you can do all this discard old builds right uh, you can integrate it with a source code management tool like get you can schedule your builds using the build triggers uh, either periodically or with git scm polling or poll scm right so if you want to look at how to configure all of this uh, in jenkins you can go to my jenkins playlist you will find uh, all different videos present on these different options okay uh, we don't require to configure uh, all of this since we are running it on a local uh, jenkins instance i just need the build step so here I will do add build step and then I will say execute windows batch command since I'm working on a windows machine. Um, and here I need to pass some commands so that I'm able to run that windows batch file. Okay. So for that, it's pretty simple. Uh, I just need to change the directory first to this particular uh, directory. And then uh, I need to call execute dot bat which is the name of my uh, batch file, okay? And then uh, I just need to save it. Uh, once I save it, uh, just make sure that uh, Tosca Commander is not uh, open with the workspace, okay? If it's normally open, that's fine, but if you have logged into the workspace, then just make sure you have closed the workspace. Otherwise, you will get uh, some funny issues in Jenkins. So after this, uh, just click on build now and the build will start. So we can even look at the console output here. So 
the output in the console would still be very similar to what we have seen earlier uh, in, while executing it from the command prompt, right? So it will basically log into the workspace. Uh, it will start the tasks, what we have provided in that script file. So uh, no matter uh, what you want to do, you can just make your script file and then just run this batch file. So it will just perform all the tasks which is present in that script file, okay? So as you can see, the build is successful. Um, and that's how easy it is to uh, integrate Jenkins with your uh, Tosca commander, right? You can directly run your test cases or um, perform some other tasks right on your Tosca commander using uh, Jenkins. You can even um, schedule your builds, as I said earlier, right? So that's all about how you can um, run or steer your Tosca commander using the command line tool, which is TC shell. And uh, you can do it directly from Jenkins. You just have to create a batch file, which will be referring to the uh, TCS script file and which will in turn perform all the different uh, actions or tasks, which um, are there for the Tosca commander, right? So uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and um, I will certainly try to get back to you. Uh, do look out for more videos uh, which are coming up uh, in Tosca. There are lots of different topics which I want to cover. So keep looking out for those videos uh, in the coming up days.